These ghastly figures are anything but saintly helpers of St. Nicholas. They'll cover some 12 kilometers this evening, on foot. German photographer Karsten Peter will try to keep up with them. He spent years traveling the Alps chronicling customs and rituals. The rich sounds and archaic feel are just uncanny. It's wild and mystical. And I'm just drawn to it. I've been fascinated by this magic since I was a child. And now I'm going in search of it. Karsten Peter has published what he's found in a book called Alpen Dämonen, or Demons of the Alps. He portrays local customs that seem like something from an exotic faraway culture, but they're practiced in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. I'm trying to capture the originality of these customs and bring it out, the part that we've lost in many parts of the Alps. I hope that I can show why these customs are worth preserving. We need as much attention and understanding for them as we can get. A centuries-old custom with a craft of its own. Philipp Motz is a mask carver. He works the whole year round making these intricate wooden sculptures. A mask like this can cost 450 euros and it's only worn for a single day. It's supposed to give people a bit of a scare. I don't want people to just say, yeah, I know about this already, and then they end up laughing at us. They're supposed to have some respect for the proceedings. In late afternoon, when it gets dark, preparations take place for the night run. The masks are bundled up in straw. But the ritual itself is a closely guarded secret. Outsiders are not welcome. The townspeople see the run mostly as a long cherished tradition. The young fellows who do this aren't just doing it for the tourists and spa guests. They do it because it's incredible fun, even if it's hard work. They wait the whole year to do it. I used to run myself. It's fascinating, the costumes they have on. It's just a big show. The custom of the run is wonderful. It's an essential part of Advent. Off they go. The procession moves from house to house. This year, 18 men are taking part, young and single, as required. Everyone else had better steer clear. They don't want to be photographed when their mask is off, for example. As a photographer, you have to watch out. From time to time, you get hit or punched. They're being kind now, but that can change fast. Saint Nick and his ghoulish helpers make their way around the village until they fall upon an unsuspecting family with small children. Kritik kostet nie Vertrauen, gell? The children are unpredictable. One year they might get really scared and scream in fear. But then the year after that they might be chattering away to the point that I can't get a word in edgeways. But then the following year it's different again. The evening reaches its climax when the procession arrives at the market square. Anyone taking pictures might get whipped. They're wild. That's just part of it. You have to be afraid of them. If you're not, they hit even harder. I've probably got welts all over. I'll see. Look, black in the face and welts all over. Peter's book wonderfully captures these weird and wild traditions of the Alps.